Jack, I don't think any of the supporters or anybody would have come here under any illusions it was going to be anything but a tough game. How pleased are you to sort of dig out the result today? Yeah, we. Um, it's not just today. I think at this stage of the season, it's about winning games and you have to find a way to win them. Some ways that way will be um, playing really well. At, and playing stuff that's easy in the eye and scores lots of goals and sometimes it'll be about grinding your way through a game and finding a way to win it, which we did today. I expected a tough match, um, we certainly got that, but on the positive side of things, a great reaction from our squad again. Every time we've been asked a question this season, they've, they've won the following week and um, that's testament to their character and, and their trust in what they do. Yeah, just kind of still on my second question there about the reaction. How pleased are you? with the way they sort of coped with the, not just the conditions today but kind of some of the stuff at the end with the chance where they hit the post you know the way they kind of just dug deep Yeah there, I mean, there was a lot of questions for the players to face today because they knew how disappointed I was with last week because it, it was very unlike us um, in recent times um, so I expected the response and we got that probably at the beginning of the game and we lost their way a little bit and at half time they were asked more questions about could they um, give a little bit more, could they find a way to win the game within that? And as I said, they did that. And you mentioned it, the end of the game and you have that in this league and in our country because um, people don't give in very easily and people don't make things easy for you. And, and that happened today and at the end of the game you have to um, defend balls into your box, but we managed to do so. Um, and if we reflect back on this towards the end of the season, I don't think it matters how the victory came about. It's all about winning the game and, and keeping ourselves in a really good position at the top of the league. And I know Breaking are sitting sort of down at the bottom of the table. They've not won a game yet this season, but it has been a tough place to come for some teams. You see, Dundee United two weeks ago came here and only got a draw, so it must be something that you're happy about to, to come away with three points and go into a, a big game against Dunfermline next week on that sort of high. Yeah, we, we we never look at... It's impossible in this league to look at your fixture list and, and predict a, a game that is more straightforward than others. So I know they have it in a difficult position in, in the league record this season, but this pitch is the narrowest, certainly in the division, if not in the country. Um, and they play 3-5-2, and so their three becomes a five a lot of the time. So there isn't a lot of places to go within that, and they do it very well. And I thought today, the, I thought Isaac Lane was, was, was a real handful for them, and so they had a threat in followed areas as well. So they, they played well today, and they made it really difficult for us. Um, I thought in patches we were good, and other patches we struggled, but... I think sometimes is that I want for us to, to keep playing the same way and it's difficult in soft season and pitch dimensions like today as well but ultimately we, we found a way to win it and um, I'm delighted um, not just for the players but with the players because um, it's not easy to bounce back all the time and keep doing that and they've done it again today. Talk about the narrow pitch, how important in a game like this, at a stadium like this is it to sort of utilise players like Lewis Morgan, Cammy Smith, Kel McGuinness, your wide players, uh, fullbacks such as... Yeah, Liam Smith, Adam Makersley. Yeah, we, you know, we, we always work towards the opposition and, and the type of game we'll face. And so at times in the first half, what we did was was reflective of that. At times we got a little bit impatient um, and a little bit um, probably rushed in terms of getting it forward areas and we looked a bit vulnerable on the counter. Um, I thought that in terms of even the second half, I thought Adam was a big catalyst for us because I thought he started the second half with a real injection of pace and um, that helped us go on the front foot. And, and I think today's another example of using the squad and using the squad on the right occasions because John helped us um, get up the pitch at times as well. He gave us another body in forward areas. Um, and that, you know, we scored in that period not long after the substitution as well. And, and the subs towards the end of the game helped us see the game out. It was a stress all the time. It'll be a group of players that will bring us success this season, not a team. And I'm um, pleased that some of those had an influence on today's game as well. You talk about there about it being a team effort but if we talk about some of the individuals today Gavin Riley getting his 17th goal of the season Cammy Smith back in from injury and, and scoring the winner from the penalty spot how pleased were you with their, those contributions? Yeah, Gavin's goal scoring record is, is, is outstanding this season um, with the way we play a lot of the time is a difficult task but, uh, and I understand that but we have three in behind it we always think um, it can cause teams problems as well and they have done in the main this season so it has worked for us but for his goal return, and I thought his goal today was, was really good. I thought his first touch was terrific. That allowed the, the, himself to come on his right foot, and his finish was very good. I think his finish was in Dicker for somebody who who believes in himself, and he, he, he trained really well yesterday in terms of his finishing. I think he's in a good place, and I know he spoke during the week. He's enjoying his football. He enjoys being around us, um, and you know, he's at 17 goals now for the season in all competitions, which is brilliant at this time before Christmas. Um, and long may it continue. Cami is. Um, and we mentioned last week about his absence from the team. I was really pleased to get him back. Didn't think he would be. He only trained yesterday. Um, it felt good. You know, I wouldn't have gambled with him if I felt we were putting him at risk. But he felt good. Wanted to play. 
Um, and the thing about Cam is I'm never disappointed with him because even when he doesn't play well, the energy, the desire he brings to us in that area of the pitch is, is outstanding. And um, pleased at winning the penalty, then pleased that he had the, the belief to take the penalty as well. Uh, just finally, um, one thing: get Gary McKenzie travelled up with the squad today. He wasn't in the the sort of the squad of 18, but travelled up. How close is he to? Sort of making a comeback. Yeah, he's 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 pretty much there. He's trained now. Um, I think a week and a half full training. Um, I had a conversation with him yesterday to see where he was at because he was not he was not managed to play in a game yet. So I had a discussion with him to see about involving him in, in the strip players. Um, we kind of felt after the conversation it would be better for him to get the game time first because I, I would never have stripped him if I if I had no intention of using him at some point or having the option to use him in the game. But he's um, he's more or less there in terms of well he is there. It's just game time now, and we're hoping to arrange a bounce game this week, and um, which will get him and others game time. And he's in a good place. I think he feels good physically. I think he's ready to go mentally, and I think he's um, he'll help us. He'll strengthen us again. I mean, he gives us another terrific option to have within our squad um, from his performance level last season. So pleased to have him back available. This will be my final question. Uh, just a shout out for the fans who made the journey up today. Obviously, there was the the pitch inspection, and it's a long journey. Is it the the numbers that actually did come up and back you today? Yeah, they, I think there's an enthusiasm and an excitement about coming to watch us now, and we won't always play fluently like we did today. But I think there's a an excitement about hoping after coming to see us win games more often than not, and that attracts people. But they still have to 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 pay money and make the effort to do that so my appreciation of that appreciation of that will never go away and, and I think I've been consistent in that regardless of whether I've been criticised or praised and I also think that uh, I hope supporters and I could tell at the end of the game that they appreciate the players don't do it half-hearted in terms of their thanks to them you know I always I, I don't really have to stress it to the players maybe it be a gentle reminder to go over and, and make sure they go right over to them but I think today you can see the players took their time to, to appreciate the fans right through on the halfway line right round to behind the goals and um, They've played a major part in us um, making the progression we have over the last year. Um, and they'll play a major part in us continuing that and, and hopefully achieving success. So, safe journey is always to them. And I'm looking forward to seeing them back home this season. And um, my appreciation on behalf of the players to them as always. Jack, thanks very much. Cheers, James. Thanks, Paul. Top line.